Welcome back to The Climb, a guided journal series inspired by the book The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. I am honored to have you here once again. If this is your first time here, please go back to journal series number one, which will be in the down bar below, to get full detail on what this series entails. If you want to start here, you are more than welcome. For any returning participants, thank you for bearing with me last week as I am still recovering from a virus or allergies. Last week, we journaled about what are my priorities. I hope that you were able to see what your true priorities were. Recognizing them is half the battle. You are now able to keep these priorities in mind as you continue to steer your life. As a practice for myself, I revisit the question from journal series number one every day or at least once a week. This question is so powerful and I pray that you exercise it as much as you need to. I highly recommend it. We also had an action step last week. Were you able to identify what might be getting in the way of your priorities? Little by little, you can shift and start to put your priorities front and center once again. Please feel free to tell me in the comments below anything about this experience. As well, you can chat with me on my Instagram at Mrs. Love Above All. Let's move forward and discuss this week's journal topic. Who or what are you following? Pause the video and grab your journal and or paper and pen. Our topic is who or what are you following? In the book, The Alchemist, this line jumped out at me. If God leads the sheep so well, he will also lead a man. He thought, and that made him feel better. So concerning this topic, who or what are you following? It led me to Matthew 6:25 about worrying. Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they sow, nor reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? So I believe that worrying and following are connected. I think if we feel a lack of following something that is true, I think we are going to worry more. So let's think for a second. I don't know about you, but if you were the only person on earth, who would you be following? There would be no one to follow, no one to tell you that this is the profession you need to have, this is the way you should cook meals, this is how you should decorate your house, this is how you should earn an income, or this is how you should raise your children. There would be no influence but the influence of God, which I believe is that still small voice inside of you pointing the way in which you should go. Therefore, as a human being, we must constantly distinguish between the voices that are trying to talk to us all of the time. When it comes to our mission here on earth, as we are trying to figure out what direction to go, we must take in all information <clears throat> to the best of our ability, and we must follow and trust peace. Peace will lead us to where we need to go. We are coming into contact with a million pieces of information on a given day. Some of that information punctures our heart like anxiety, fear, depression, etc. And sometimes we are punctured with peace. That feels better. Just the knowing is what we are looking for. If we let peace guide us in our moments, we will have more joy and less detours when it comes to following our true path. Take some time to think about these next questions. Let whatever pop up, pop up. It is now time to write, keep writing for the whole time, replay this if necessary, stop when your spirit has stopped speaking, and just remember there's no right or wrong answer. The journal topic for this week, I want you to drop down to your heart and just let's take a breath. Be honest with yourself. Who or what leads you moment to moment, and how do you know this? If you are being led by something that is not pleasing to you, how would you change it? You have two minutes. Try to write for the complete two minutes. This video will let you know when you are done. You may keep going if you need more time. This is your sacred time. Thank you.
You may stop here or you may keep going. The action step for the week is, that, is as follows. I'd like you to just set some time aside every morning and I'd like you to say a prayer in whatever way works for you. And I want you to ask God to lead you for that day, to help you trust in him for that day. And I'd also like you to ask him to be in charge of your thought life for that day. Try to do this every single morning and see if it kind of guides you into being more conscious and aware of what you are following. Please let me know how you're enjoying this journal series and please share with others who you feel would benefit. And as always, you can connect with me in the comments below or on my Instagram at Mrs. Love Above All. God bless you. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.